migrating from 3.5 to 4.0. AeroVision 4 is a completely new app, rewritten from the ground up to provide the best tracking experience on the phones that most of us carry. As such, the app will install on your device separately from the old AeroVision 3.5 or 4.0 beta you've been using. This means you will need to export and save any flights that you may have recorded in the old app. Once V4 is installed, you will also need to re-download your offline maps. When updating to 4.0, your pocket link and GPS transmitters will have their firmware updated and will also have new operational modes and a reset of their system frequency. Please take a moment to watch these tutorial videos to understand operational modes and transmitter settings. To begin, back up any flights you want to save from your old version of AeroVision by swiping left and sharing the flight to your email. Once all of your important flights have been exported, we recommend deleting your prior version of AeroVision. Now it's time to install 4.0 and update your hardware. You will need your pocket link and GPS transmitters in hand for this process. Download AeroVision 4 from the App Store. Once downloaded, start AeroVision and connect your pocket link. AeroVision should automatically detect that the firmware on your system is out of date and will prompt you to update it. Do so by tapping Now. Don't worry if you don't see the pop-up. You can manually start the process by entering the Settings menu and tapping Force Firmware Update here. The firmware update process works the same as it did with AeroVision 3.5. Simply follow the on-screen prompts, installing the battery in your transmitter when prompted. After the firmware is updated, you'll be asked if you'd like to update another transmitter. If you have more than one GPS, now's the time to update the firmware. Once all of your GPS transmitters have been updated, tap No and AeroVision will update the pocket link. With the firmware updated, step two is to set your system frequency. This is set in the settings menu. Here, tap Edit. Tap the frequency. Now scroll through the megahertz and kilohertz to select a new frequency for your system. With over 1,500 unique frequency choices, it's easy to pick one that differs from another user's. Take a moment to read the message, then tap Now. When prompted, you will install the battery to start the process and save the frequency and channel to your transmitter. Tap Yes. This will set the transmitter as number one. Subsequent transmitters, which you can have up to five, may be added when prompted if you wish to update another RTGPS. Tap No, and your pocket link is updated. You now see your transmitter number one has connected and is visible at the bottom of the screen. Congratulations, your Marshall GPS is now updated and running 4.0. By the way, if you've not yet upgraded your transmitter, this message will appear. For ongoing news, training, and support, please ask to join the AeroVision V4 support on Facebook.